distinguished Toastmaster, uh, fellow Toastmaster, and distinguished guest. I would like to share with you my trip to Bhutan, and it is a very amazing trip that I've gone through uh, in the last month of June. It started from the fifth day that I, I touched down in Bhutan and it is in a dinner session where the tour leader tried to make a briefing to us and he said this tomorrow we are going to Tiger Nest Monastery which is around 900 meters from here now just to remind everybody I'm actually standing at about 2,100 meters above sea level at that point of time and I'm going to climb 5.5 times of our Bukit Timah here tomorrow <laughs> and imagine that I haven't figured out why Bhutanese is so happy <laughs> why I suddenly talk about the happiness or jubilance at that point of time because that is the fifth day that I touched down in Paro airport where it's a very short landing and the plane have to escape around the hills in order to land and you can imagine that I haven't figured out why the Bhutanese is so jubilant <laughs> and from that moment I did not worry about the happiness but I, I really worried about tomorrow Trip because it's one of our ultimate mission to Bhutan. Climbing up the Tiger Nest is to meet Guru Rinpoche tomorrow. It is a sacred monastery built in 8th century, and I'm going to meet our great Guru of Buddhist tomorrow. So that is where that I, I felt very excited that night. And Walking up the hill is so easy for any professional mountain hiker, but not for me. I'm 100 kg office man without regular exercise. And you can imagine that hill is going to torture me a lot tomorrow. And that is where that creeping into my mind and I start to get worried. And the truth is, I never felt any jubilant anymore because after hearing from the doctor's speech Now we have a doctor joining our troop and he's sharing with us his experience He said you walk slowly, follow your heartbeat, follow the pace, you'll be there However, if you cannot follow that, no worry, stay there Otherwise, AMS will look for you what is AMS? AMS stands for Acute Mountain Sickness Where you went up to the high altitude You are beginning feeling lack of oxygen At that point of time You are short of breath And that is where the whole problem started And that haunting me for the whole night And I only closed my eyelid for the next 4 hours And I follow, the next thing that I know I follow the truth and selecting the walking stick that is really helping me to get up there and the next morning there's a sprinkle of rain coming on uh, in the end of June and, and we start walking and as we start walking slowly step by step going up the hill and I started to find something amusing I look at the side, I walk as fast as possible. My heartbeat starts pumping harder and harder. However, there's something walk slowly past by me. <laughs> I look at the back of the whole row of people and I find that the one that passing by me is a pony full loaded with a hundred pound man on top of it. And the man keep on smiling to me. <laughs> Guess what? It's so easy. <laughs> hey, US dollar child, you get to the peak. 
<laughs> I start to realize at that point of time is that the pony is doing better than me. Mm -hmm. However, I have to concentrate on my back. And frankly speaking, after one hour of walking, I start to feel very exhausted. Mm -hmm. And my back is felt so heavy and I can't actually pull up my leg anymore. Mm -hmm. And I, I stop and I sip a little bit of water and I hear the stream of waterfall coming in and try to catch the water a little bit to rinse my face. As I do that, I let go all the sweat on my face with the, the cleansing water. I suddenly put in, letting go something very, very heavy for me, which is my worry about the AMS. Without my knowledge, I was 40% completion of my journey. Wow. And, I, and I tell my wife, I tell you what, I have a method how to get there within a second. You know what I did? I bring out my phone <laughs> and I try to do the selfie on myself and, and there's a Titaness monastery behind me. <laughs> I tell them I was there, okay? I will, I, 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 I'll be there. And with all the means, I actually get there. And I realize that what really steal my happiness in the first stage is if you are willing to let go of all your emotion, including the anxiety, you begin to accept ha happiness and jubilance get into your heart. And I feel the breeze and start to enjoy that particular moment, that moment of truth of almost touching the ground and I don't need to do selfie because I'm really in front of the great temple, Paro Taksa. And that's where I am and I have a great enlightenment there because jubilance is, is all the pain that I take to go up there. And that's part of what I call blessing in disguise as well as jubilance. And I believe that jubilant is there for me all the time if I'm willing to open myself to go into it. Thank you.